I need to give uh, someone a call in a moment. I I need to check up on them. You need me to step out? Uh... I don't want to make you just stand outside on your own. That sounds horrible. <laughs> it's okay. I still need to go, uh... Uh, think about some brain food. <laughs> oh yeah, no worries then. Okay. I'll have this combo with Lily, uh, not with Lily, with Kitty, and I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Let's give Kitty a call and check and see how she's doing. Hey, Sitty. Hey, Kitty. I was just calling to check in on you and see how you were holding up. Um, a little confused still. I got that text from Raymond and I haven't seen Chatty, so... Mixture of sadness and anger, like, what the heck happened, you know? Like, I had let him into my home. I trusted him to not let her leave. She asked me. She was like, please don't let me leave. So, I think... Because her text message just said to talk to Chatty and he'll explain everything. Yeah, that's and... the same text I got. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for that conversation to just understand and then process my feelings better. Because, I don't know, she's gone, you know? Like, I don't know when she's coming back. I don't know if she's coming back. Aww. But she will be back. She absolutely I hope so. will be. Yeah, I know she will be. Uh, heck, um... She has Chatty's mask. What? Yeah. Um. Is he walking around maskless? Well, if you see a guy that looks like Pigeon that isn't Pigeon today, um. <laughs> okay. right. Uh, do you know if he's around? Or is he like a later? He's around later tonight. I don't know. Actually, if he is around yet, but he will be, I'm, I'm pretty sure. How are you? A little sad and confused, too. But overall, very hopeful. Okay, that's good. I've been trying to get a hold of Max, but I think we just have opposite schedules. Is he okay? Um, well, uh, sorry, uh... Can you repeat that for me? I'm so sorry. Oh, I was like, I've been trying to get a hold of Max, but I think we're on opposite schedules. Well, I don't really have a schedule right now. I'm like a vampire one day. I'm not, like, it's, my sleep <laughs> is all over the place. So, yeah, I haven't I, been able to check in on him, so. I checked in with him, um, a couple of days ago. And, overall, he's... He's feeling very sad and lost at the moment, and he feels like he's losing more and more reasons to even really be here in the city. And I'm trying my best to try and convince him that that doesn't need to be the case. It's really hard. I, I was thinking, like I like I was thinking about that the other day. You know, like the sadness I felt with Ray. But, you know, I have my husband, you know, like I have. You have someone to come home people. to. Yeah. And I felt so sad for Max because he had April. And when April's gone, he had Ray. And then when Ray's gone, you know, like, who does he have in this corner? Like, you know, I don't I genuinely don't know what Max does when we're not around. You know, like, I don't like. Oh. Like, I've only really hung out with him during, like, girls time. So I don't know. Oh, he will. Um. Me and him spent, like, uh, a month in this damn, like, farm box together. Um, we go on some, like, jogs and things like that. He does quite a bit of G6 here and there. Um, yeah, I guess I, I hang out with Max quite a bit these days. Uh, oh, I'm glad he has someone. I just, like, so afraid that he might be alone. So, like, that's why I was trying to call him and get a hold of him. You know, like, like he has people. But I also know he's probably the type like he's like me i feel like he's so much like me that he wouldn't want to call to bother people no 
That's so I'm weird. trying to make it like a like a routine to call him, like even if it's for G6 or just to like catch up or maybe like a jog. I just need I, I'm I Honestly, think he could he use to like him. Yeah, it's just that I'm no longer before I'm consistently around like an hour before storm and like at storm, but now I'm just like not around. No, that's, I'm trying to be there for him as much as possible. Heck, I'm trying to bring him in on some clown projects because Chani wanted him to have keys to oh, the Polito house uh, ages ago. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah. so I'm kind of trying to get him like, back in with that and to like work with us. And It's really hard being a clean person. I, I'm literally having like a identity crisis as I'm like, we've... Like, our girls' house crumbled because everybody ventured off to different groups or gangs that they, you know, that they hang out with and do nefarious things with. But it's, like, it's such a hard decision because once you go that route, that's just how the city will perceive you, you know? You'll forever be that criminal. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, and, heck, the weird... I'm get, experiencing the opposite. I've been so really? clean for so long now or uh, I haven't gotten caught for anything. That a lot of the clowns have pigeonholed me into just being the legal clown. Where I'm like, I literally sell thermite. I, like, uh, <laughs> blow up cars for as a hobby. I f have a face of somebody in a pickle jar somewhere, you know, and things like that. L I'm not legal. I just haven't gone caught <laughs> yet. But, yeah, it, it oh, is nice. one of those things where people do box you in. And once you're boxed into that thing, it's hard for people to try and... I like venturing between both. I've always been a gray area clown. I like doing business stuff. I like this Civ side of life. Yeah, I've always, like, a lot of people didn't, like, know from years ago. I was always in the gray area. Mm. But that was, like, my saving grace is that they don't know what I'm doing. I've always had, like, I've always controlled people to do my dirty work. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was the go-to to import illegal cars. If you scratch the car, I get the paperwork and I make it legal for you. See, there you go. Like, the gray area, I enjoy the gray area because I like being in Me the too. and being part of the crim stuff. But I actually do enjoy a lot and find a lot of reward out of doing the Civ stuff, too. Me Damn, too. Kitty, I love this mess. started hanging out a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, my God. You get it. You uh. actually get it. <laughs> Holy yuck. Yeah. I know. It, it's kind of sad, but it's like... This happening to Ray, I never realized like how much like you and I had in common, and I like I appreciate her for that. Like she's, but that's how good she is at getting people to like understand each other. Like I don't know, oh my God, I miss her. Yeah, that that was one of the things she at one point wanted to step down from being um like queen of the clowns, right? And mm -hmm. she called me and was saying how she like you know if I step down, would you like step up? And I had to have a moment of like. Girl, do you not know how much you do as a queen? <laughs> like, how much you have, like, connected us with people that we never would have had connections with before. Um, she rebuilt or, like, mended a lot of bridges that we thought had been years long broken. But look at us, we're now working alongside Chang Bang. Still, you know, shooting them and, uh, you know, killing them whenever we can. But working alongside them, nonetheless. We're... <laughs> When you're yeah. hanging out with people like yourself and Max that we didn't really get the opportunities to do so more before. And all of these, like, connections with all these people that wouldn't necessarily have given people like Chatterbox the time before as well. I feared him for so long. I feared him for so long. Since that one time when he oh. held me at gunpoint in my car, I have steered cleared from him. And if you had told me years ago that I would be giving, <laughs> like, I would invite him to my home and have him sleep here, I would tell you, I was, you're lying. <laughs> that you had been, you know, having moments of thinking of the details of his wedding with one of your besties, you know? Like. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Planning the most ridiculous bachelorette party. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah. She'll be back. The power of Raymond. I hope so. I'm really sure. In the meantime, I I would love. I just don't know Max's schedule. I would actually like adjust my schedule. I'd love to Begin just have like a jogging one. day with. 
Okay. Yeah. He's like, like, I would love to have, like, a jogging day with you guys, and we can, like, hang out or something let's to catch it. up. Let's do it. I want, I tend to reach out to him and then to, like, let's go and get sweaty together. And, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it. We're going to have a little workout. <laughs> okay. I really appreciate you for calling, too, and checking in, Sudi. No, of course. I, I know this can't be easy for yourself, either. And uh, you were reaching out to a lot of us, trying to help figure things out and make sure that everyone else was okay. So I wanted to make sure that the person who does that is also being reached out to make sure that they're okay. Thanks, Sudi. That means a lot. Someone's got to look after the person that looks after people. Alright, okay, no more tears. I told myself no more tears. It's my <laughs> birthday month. I'm trying to be not sad girl anymore. Here you are, got me crying. <laughs> oh, well, happy birthday month! Now that I'm glad to, uh, you know, be getting to know you more because this has been fun. And, uh, happy birthday! We're going to get through this, we're going to get her back, and we're gonna have fun with Max and make sure that he gets through this too. Awesome. Nobody's okay. getting abandoned, we're just banding together. I love that. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Talk to you soon, kitty. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right.